you are looking to buy, sell or swap RuneScape GP, check out RS.gold. They give you the best rates at a very fast respawn time. Their customer service is also very friendly and is there for you 24-7. Their company also hosts RS Jackpot which is a case opening website. You can earn some fast old school RS or RuneScape tree items. Then again you can use the coupon code NOOBS for a 5% discount so definitely make sure to do that. Anyways enjoy the video. Yo what's going on guys I'm back with another video and today I am back on Hydrex where I'll be showing off an insane minigame. Now before we get into that I just want to announce there is a $100 giveaway on my previous Hydrex video. So if you guys want a chance of winning that $100 giveaway make sure to go to that video. Link will be down below in the description and enter the giveaway there. Also I want to say everyone that is watching right now make sure you are subscribed and that you turn on the notifications so you get notifications of when I upload a new video. Anyways let's go ahead and talk about this minigame. This minigame is custom to this RSPS, it's a Temple of Light minigame. Now what this is, is actually a minigame that gives you three kinds of reward chests which I'll go over in just a second. And the point of this minigame is basically to kill as much zombies and get as much chests in the uh, time span of 5 minutes. So yeah, that's the point of the minigame and then you can open up these chests for an insane amount of rewards. Anyways though, how you get there is by clicking on teleports, going to the last page and not feeling like me my bad there. So you go to um, next page and then you click on minigames and then you go to the last page of the minigames and then you see the temple of light however you need temple of light charges to actually be able to go here but once you are here you have five minutes um, to loot as many pillars and kill as many zombies uh, mummies as you can so if you kill one of these mummies you basically get a dark uh, chest or dark crate which you will see right here so you get a dark casket and if you uh, search one of these pillars you get a light casket now in my opinion the best way is search as many pillars as you can until you find flaming mummies because these drop the red caskets which are the best caskets you can get from this minigame. Um, the light caskets which you get from teleporting around with these pillars are actually the worst caskets you can get but then the dark caskets are the medium caskets that you can get from killing the regular mummies. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this 5 minutes, hopefully we can find ourselves some flaming mummies, oh look at that, there is a raging mummy, can we get to there? Yes we can, okay. So that means you get a red casket, which can give you one of the best gloves in game guys, so that's actually super insane, and um, here we go, let's have a look here, can I manage to get ourselves a raging casket? Yes, there we go, raging casket. You can get some really cool stuff from these. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up 5 minutes of this mini game, and I'll be back with the amount of caskets that I get. Alright, so we have ourselves 17 uh, light caskets, 6 dark, and we got ourselves 2 raging, so I found 2 raging mummies. Uh, I mainly was teleporting to find these raging mummies, so that's why I only have 6, but let's have a look here to the loot. Now these lights give the worst rewards that you can get out of the three caskets, but they are still like okay, I, I would say. It's not too bad, and then the raging can give the best. Um, Silverhawk feathers though, which is not too bad, but for the rest I got kind of junk here. Anyways, the owner has hooked me up with 1000 caskets of each um, to open up for you guys. So let's have a look here, as always when I am opening boxes or caskets I'll just be putting some background music so sit back and enjoy while I open these and hopefully we can get some lucky rewards. Of course from these light caskets I do not expect to get anything insane however if we do get anything insane that would be super nice. But right now I am just going to put some background music so sit back and enjoy the rest of the video.
and there we go that's all the light boxes open and actually we got a lot more variety and drops than I expected however as I thought we didn't get anything super special we, ju we did get some PVM keys and 8 of these raging caskets which is super nice but yeah for the rest nothing really too special also we got about 2 million cash which I forgot to put here so yeah 2 million cash which is still pretty nice there Anyways, let's go ahead and open up these dark caskets. Now, these are the medium tier caskets, so they should, should actually give me some better loot. But anyways, once again, more background music and um, yeah, hopefully we get some really insane uh, drops. Alright, so here we go. This time around we got a bunch more cash. We got about 4 million cash from these. Also we got a bunch of these better herbs and seeds which sell for more GP. We also got two uh, level 2 PVM keys and we got like 11 more raging caskets. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up these and get some of the best rewards right now. Hopefully we can get like these best in slot gloves. That would be super insane. Oh no freaking way, we actually got the gloves like in the second inventory, holy shit, that's kind of insane guys. What? The very next, um, uh, the very next freaking inventory we get a corrupted shard, holy shit, that's super insane. No freaking way, the very next inventory we get viscerous gloves, what the hell is going on guys? No way, more viscerous gloves. We are so lucky on these caskets. Holy shit, man. Oh, we got ourselves some more Eovenis gloves. That's actually super nice once again. Now we have two of these as well. Let me just put this here. Oh, we got ourselves another pair of Evenis gloves. Nice. No way, we got another pair of Evenis gloves. That's so insane. And we get another Viserous gloves as well. We are getting so many rare loots from these. And we get another corrupted shot as well. Wow, this is so insane. We are getting so many loots from these guys. And there we go. That's all the caskets opened. And holy damn, we got so lucky on these lost caskets. Like the... Um, what's it called the uh, enraged caskets 
Damn, guys, look at this. We got three Viserous Gloves, four Euphonies Gloves, and two Corrupted Shards. That's super insane to get all of that. But besides that, look at this cash tag. We got 91 million cash in total of all these caskets. That's super much. And then besides that, all this loot will stack up to quite a lot of money as well. Now, before we actually end of this video we have to open up all these pvm keys as well which is perfectly fit for one inventory anyway so let's go ahead and have a look here and um i don't know if it will take the pvm key 2 first or the pvm key 1 but hopefully we can get super lucky i think this is from the pvm key 2 seeing as we got two, two dragon full helms as, uh, already all right so these are all the rare rewards that i got from all these um pvm keys so let's have a look here and um, yeah, as I as I thought, these are worth super much, and um, yeah, they probably sell for a lot more as well. So that's super insane. Anyways, that's where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway in my previous video link down below in the description. And I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.